Thanks for coming back and watching again. Hey, in part two, what we did is we started the plasma cutter uh, with the picture making. So what I'm going to do is try to finish off the rest of the plasma cutting on this particular picture, and then I'm going to go on to the MIG welding. Now in the plasma cutting part, it'll probably take me about two hours to finish this particular picture, so I'm going to fast forward it and, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. And then the next part after that, the next uh, video I'll do will be on MIG welding. We'll add on the oranges on the different trees, and then this little crate down here to give it some more depth. So hopefully you enjoy and please subscribe to my channel under the description of each video and you'll hopefully have some good information down the road and as the process goes on doing the, the plasma cutting and MIG welding for picture making. Anyway, enjoy. Thank you. We're pretty much done with the plasma cutting. Um, this is sort of a, a rough draft, so to speak. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put on the oranges, but what I've done since I was last on, did all the plasma cutting, I still got to do some detail, and I did some dimples on the oranges with this, and obviously a hammer, and then pounded it in, then pounded it out from the back to get sort of convex coming out this direction. And then I've uh, added on a couple of smudge pots. We're going to get in there with the little grinder with the little tools and, and do the final detailing later. So right now what I'm going to do is do a, the MIG welding of oranges on the trees and the oranges in this crate down here. So that will give you an idea how we add more depth to the picture, more of a 3D type of shot here. So let's give it a shot and see what we got. the oranges from the MIG welder. So what I'm going to do is uh, take this and kind of knock off some of the round balls and stuff that are still on there from the welding. Also what I also have done with this is, is every time when you use the plasma cutter right when you start out it, it gives a little bit of a blast. Um, sort of a little volcano type of material that blasts off before it cuts through. So I've taken this and scraped all those off um, to make it a little bit cleaner and you don't see those little spots and stuff like that and further. So. Anyway, that's pretty almost done. What I got to do now is, is take that grinder and go through there and kind of clean up inside the big spots here and then inside the smudge pots. And then I've knocked off some of the stuff off the back, clean those the big stems up a little bit so you see through and you don't see so much messed up stuff. And then if you'll notice, it's pretty warped out. So what I'm going to do is take a big rubber mallet after I'm all done with everything and pound it out so it's pretty much flat. And then when I nail it in, with the nail gun and with some crown staples into the frame it'll straighten it out even more so um, that's it for now 